Hello again, everybody. Yeah, so today is about maintaining momentum. We had a pretty good uh, finish last race at Darlington. And, uh, you know, if you want to go check that out, that was the previous episode. Uh, just to do a little overview of what we did, uh, we started the chassis tire wear plus 10, went for the six race option in the garage, got a chassis being repaired, one being built, engine, we got one being built, one being overhauled, and then we got a chassis being, or a body being repaired. We can't fire the bodybuilder quite yet until he's done repairing that body you know just kind of waiting on that for richmond here if you remember you probably do if you watched last episode we are in the middle of an absolutely terrible run of races between bristol darlington richmond new hampshire and dover um, with that being said our best chance of success is richmond or dover so i'm going to take some of my better equipment here for the chassis we do have a 61 tire grip chassis for the engine we'll have that new engine for talladega what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take this engine here the 57 power one and then the body i only have one choice so uh, 57 car rating let's go ahead just get straight into it all right qualifying time 21 one is pole this game's sure top of the charts man you got the pole Huh. I'll take it, but uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll see you in the race. MRN welcomes you to Richmond, Virginia for tonight's race, the Chevy Rock and Roll 400. What's in store for us on this track, Barney? This is a fast track, even though it's less than a mile. Richmond's smooth surface gives the drivers plenty of room to maneuver and make clean passes, but you'll still see a fair share of bumping going on out there. The 82 car has started something recently with the 49 car. Every driver in Winston Cup has had a bit of trouble on the racetrack at one time or another. As long as they keep their composure, everything should work out okay. Bill Elliott owned and drove for his own race team for six years before joining Ray Evernham in 2001. You know, driving for your own race team is a tough deal. I think Bill was happy to get back to worrying about one thing, being fast out there on the racetrack. Ashton Lewis just couldn't get up to speed in qualifying this week. You're right, it's going to be tough for him. You get so used to starting up front, and then you have an off week, and you have to start towards the back. Then when race day comes, you feel like you passed a 1,000 cars at the end. And worse yet, sometimes you never make it to the front. All we need is 40. That's it. So it's not exactly like a high bar that we need to go get these uh, sponsor objectives. So let's go ahead. Let's get into this race here. Sitting aside Tony Stewart. We are going to lead a lap of a Winston Cup race. How about that? I can't even believe this, what I'm seeing here. I have led three laps. <clears throat> and not only did I lead three laps, I did it in a uh, rather convincing fashion. I mean, I was blocking a skosh, but not that much. Oh, what the? You guys ever drive around somebody in your lives before? Alright, well that sucks. Gave me a ton of damage, and now I can... Uh, Feel being a little bit slower. What was Kevin Harvick playing at? Oh my god. Get me across the start finish line game. Oh my god, Kevin Harvick is on his roof and on fire, and then he just disappeared. Holy shit. I he just turned across me, you know? And uh oh he paid the price for that one. Oh, I need a pit. <laughs> I have so much damn damage you get me in those pits and let me fix this up. Yeah, I feel bad for Kevin, but like I, I just I have a right to be there and they steamrolled me the first time and just kind of punted me into the wall, but eventually that something like that was gonna happen. 41st. So that means two people DNF'd. Well, and we're going on to lap eleven as we restart, so Christian Fittipaldi apparently had uh, DNF'd, which is surprising. Yeah, like I said, I want to pass these guys as fast as I can. All of them are going to have worn tires before I do. They're also slower. I mean, just straight up. Yeah, I got my elbows out there on uh, Ricky Craven. All right, well, Ricky Craven's now pissed enough to slam into me when he gets a chance. Good thing to keep in the old memory bank. All right, so we're up to 28th already. I'll probably have to pit. The latest I can go is probably like lap 40-ish. Yeah, we're just kind of riding this wave out. So I've kind of caught on to the back of these guys now. So people are starting to go in and get their uh, new tires now. Are, are you fucking serious? That's some bullshit. There is no fucking way. Yeah, that shit just straight up sucks. Thanks, Matt Kendra. 
May as well just lock it down. And now, the only people this far lap down is me and Jack Spray. Thanks, Matt Kenseth. I think this is a payback race. May as well take a free pit stop, repair the damage, and uh, get some fresh tires. Two laps down, it's me and uh, Kevin LePage. Even though I have a quick car. The fuck? What is this shit? What is that? I don't. I don't want to know what the fuck that was. Jack Sprague, get out of my fucking way, dickhead. Some more people pit. Jack Sprague might become a fucking caution if he keeps it up. A lot of pent up anger and frustration, as you could tell from this race. Some of these motherfuckers are gonna get what's coming to them. Like I said, we had a good car for this fucking race, man. This, uh, this, uh. Bobby Labonte comes up here and tries to start some shit. He's gonna have some fucking problems. This, I am annoyed. I am a pit stop short by about five laps. Like, I will fuck his shit. I don't even care. That, uh, that changes quite a bit. If we, uh, look here, everybody after fifth is one lap down. Now, did I stay two laps down? I must have. Because everybody after 20th is two laps down. And everybody after 35th is three laps down. Oh my god. Bobby Labonte. What a genius. We are going to be getting a pit stop. I gotta fix damage. I gotta get some fresh tires. I mean, at this point, we're guaranteed to get our objective and get a decent finish. So there's no reason to do anything stupid. I didn't do that. You know, I just got my shit dumped by Bobby. Uh, this is gonna be like the fifth or sixth stop in a row for my pit crew, but they made no mistakes. That's pretty fucking good. And we beat LePage off pit road. Darting in 32nd. What? Casey Mears, you dirty fuck. So Casey Mears was going to the outside, and he just he just fucking cut me off. Like I was there. The 82 car will probably be exchanging words in the garage with the 29 car. Well, when you're out there beating and banging on guys, some feathers are bound to get ruffled. Maybe after some time to cool off, they'll be back to racing with clear heads. From all of us at EA Sports and MRN, thanks for joining us for this evening's race. We'll see you next time. This fucking game, dude. The only good news is so many people DNF that I'm still going to get all my bonuses. Um, ton of rivalries. We still got paid pretty good. Um, you know, 111k coming in. Happiness, bonuses, all that fun stuff. So that's good. Uh, Dale Jr. ended up winning this race out of nowhere. Dale Jarrett had most laps led. I'll let you look through this. Uh, Johnny Benson, surprise 6th place finish. Um, Kyle Petty surprise 11th place finish. Mike Skinner should not be in 14th with lap sled. He uh, absolutely was like three laps down or something like that. So, uh, yeah. Our uh, points leader, Tony Stewart, with an 18th place finish. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Well, we finished 40th with four lap sled after, uh, well, it was a dirty move by Casey Mears, really. Um... In my opinion, I mean, I have to go back and look at it, but to me, I was alongside him already, making the corner, and he just decided to come down, and uh, that's okay. I've got a long memory. Yeah, for today, thank you very much for watching. Next race is going to be important because our sponsors come due for renewal, so uh, hopefully we hit all of our bonuses again at New Hampshire. And uh, yeah, other than that for today, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't already, or comment if you have any suggestions. Have a good one.